नमस्कार आत्ताच जाणी ट्वेल्थ स्टँडर्डची एक्झाम दिला असे सगळे भुरगे तांचे पेरेंट्स टीचर्स आणि जे कोण आमका या वेबिनारात जॉईन झाल्यात तांकां सगळ्यांक माये मोगाचो येकार देता हे वेबिनार म्हणजे वॉट आफ्टर एच एस एस सी ई बारावे उपरांत किते या विषयाचे आयचे हे वेबिनार असा खूप जणांक असा प्रश्न सदाच पडता की बारावी झाली बऱ्या मार्कान पास तर झाला की आता फुडे किती करप आर्ट्स घेऊ सायन्स घेऊ काय कॉमर्सच बरे पडतले बरे आर्ट्स घेतले जर तातूत खी खो टॉपिक घेवप खो सब्जेक्ट घेवप सायन्स घेतल्यावर इंजिनिअरिंगाक वचू काय बी एस सीक वचू अशे तरेचे कैक प्रश्न दर एका भुरग्याच्या मनात असा आणि हेच प्रश्न सुटावे करपा खातीर गोयचे बहुमानाधिक मुखेलमंत्री जे गोयचे शिक्षण मंत्री जाऊन असत भुवनेस दोतोर प्रमोद बाब सावंत हांच्या संकल्पनेतल्यान हे वेबिनार हंगा आयोजित जाता सगळ्या भुरग्यांक आणि खासा करून गावगिऱ्या वाठारातल्या भुरग्यांक ह्या विषयाचे योग्य असे मार्गदर्शन मेळचे आणि एक लोळलेली वाट चलनासताना किती तरी वेगळे करपाची एक एक ध्यास मेळचो आणि एक दिशा मेळची या दिकेन हे वेबिनाराचे आयोजन केले असा हा परतून एक फाउट सगळ्यांक येकार देता आणि ज्यांच्या संकल्पनेतल्यान हे वेबिनार हंगा आम्ही घडून हाडतात ते म्हणजे आमचे भौमानिस्त मुखेलमंत्री डॉक्टर प्रमोद बाब सावंत हांका सुरवेक येकारता आणि तांच्या लागी मागता की ताणी या समयार आपले विचार मांडचे भौमानिस्त डॉक्टर प्रमोद बाब सावंत नमस्कार सगळ्यात पहिल्यात पहिली सगळ्या माझ्या युवा मित्र मैत्रिणींचे जे जे बारावीची एक्झाम पास झाल्या त्या सगळ्यांचे खूप खूप अभिनंदन आणि जे चुकून थोडेसे भुरगे फेल झाले असतले तांच्यानी बी डिप्रेस जाऊन वयचे नाही तांच्याही खातीर वेगवेगळे करियर ऑप्शन्स एवेलेबल असा ताची संधी तांच्यानी घेऊची किंवा सप्लिमेंटरी एक्झाम्स असा ती काय बसचे हा तांच्याही खातीर तुमका माझे बेस्ट विशेस सगळ्यात पहिली आयच्या बारावीच्या उपरांत कशा पद्धतीचे करियर ऑप्शन्स एवेलेबल असा हाच्या खातीर सी एम ओ ऑफिस आणि डायरेक्टरेट ऑफ हायर एड्युकेशन हांच्या वतीन आयोजित केल्या या व्हर्च्युअल प्रोग्रामांक हा माझ्या बरोबर जे वेरियस पॅनलिस्ट असा त्यांचे स्वागत करता आमच्या मध्ये असात आयच्या खास कार्यक्रमांक तुमका मार्गदर्शन करपा खातीर डॉक्टर विठ्ठल तिलवी तिरवी ऑफ डायरेक्टरेट ऑफ हायर एड्युकेशन हे तुमका वेरियस करियर ऑप्शन्स कसे चूज करप गोयात गोया भायर आणि इन एब्रॉड वेगवेगळी ऑप्शन किती एवेलेबल असा ताजेर ते मार्गदर्शन करतले तुम्ही सगळ्यांनी हाचा निश्चितच फायदो घेऊचो हे तुमच्याकडे मागता दुसरे स्पीकर असतात डॉक्टर महादेव गावस जस्ट ऑफ डायरेक्टरेट ऑफ हायर एड्युकेशन तांचा विषय असतो जनरल एड्युकेशनल कोर्सीस आफ्टर एच एस एस सी इन गोवा आणि त्याचा ॲडमिशन प्रोसेस कशा पद्धतीत असा हाजेर ते तुमका मार्गदर्शन करतले तिसरी आयची स्पीकर असा नीता नाईक असिस्टंट डायरेक्टर ऑफ डायरेक्टरेट ऑफ टेक्निकल एड्युकेशन आमका वेरियस ऑपॉर्च्युनिटीज इन टेक्निकल अँड प्रोफेशनल कोर्सीस पोस्ट एच एस एस सी इन गोवा आणि तांचा ॲडमिशन प्रोसेस कशा पद्धतीत असता हाजेर गाईडलाईन्स तांच्या कडल्यान मेळटल्यो चौथो स्पीकर खास करून पुण्या साकून हंगासर आयला ते असतात डॉक्टर श्री रणजित कलांगुटकर ऑफ आय एम एस पुना नॅशनल कॉम्पिटेटिव्ह एन्ट्रन्स एक्झाम या वेगवेगळ्या एक्झामी कशा पद्धतीत आन्सर करपो आणि वेरियस ऑप्शन्स आफ्टर दिस ही एवेलेबल असा ताजेर श्री रणजित कलांगुटकर हे तुमका सगळ्या जणांक मार्गदर्शन करतले मला दिसता फक्त ट्वेल्थ झाल्या उपरांत आर्ट सायन्स कॉमर्स बी ए बी कॉम बी एस सी ओन आणि एम बी बी एस इंजिनिअरिंग इतकेच न्ही तर हाच्या व्यतिरिक्त जायती ऑप्शन्स गोयात इंडियेत इन एब्रॉड एवेलेबल असता फाटल्याच दिसांनी जेव्हा हांवे चौकशी केली तेव्हा कितीशेच स्टुडंट फॉर द ग्रॅज्युएशन ऑल्सो एब्रॉडाक वतात शिकतात हे पळून मला खूप बरे दिसले मला अभिमान दिसलो की गोयचे आमचे भुरगे अशा पद्धतीचे वेरियस कोर्सीस नॉट इन इंडिया बट बिसाईड इंडिया इन एब्रॉड ऑल्सो अशा पद्धतीत शिकता हे पळून मला खूप खोस भोगता सगळ्यांचे बरे करियर जाऊचे म्हणून सी एम ओ ऑफिस आणि डायरेक्टरेट ऑफ एड्युकेशन हे ह्या पद्धतीचं वेबिनार ऑर्गनायज केला हा परत एकदा माझ्या बरोबर असलेल्या सगळ्या पॅनलिस्टांचे स्वागत करता 
आनी तुम्ही सगळे जण लाइव हो कार्यक्रम पळोपा खातीर उपस्थित असतात आणि निश्चितच तुमचे पेरेंट्सही तुमच्या बरोबर असा तुमच्या पेरेंट्स तुमचे टीचर्स हांच्या बरोबर बसून तुम्ही डिस्कस करतले आणि जो करिअर ऑपॉर्च्युनिटीज असा जितूर तुमचा फुडार घडपाचो असा निश्चितच अशा पद्धतीची वेगवेगळ्या ऑप्शनांचा विचार केल्या उपरांत आम्ही खच्या सेक्टरात गेल्या उपरांत आमचं करिअर जावपाक शकता मगेर जॉब असतो कि सेल्फ एम्प्लॉयमेंट आसतो हजेनुसार तुम्ही विचार करतले आणि निश्चितच राईट स्टेप घेतले परत एकदा हा तुमका बरे फ्युचर आवडता सुयश चिंतिता आणि तुमचा फुडार बरो घडचो इतक्यात मागता आणि माझी दोन उतरा सोपयता देव बरे करू देव बरे करू भुवनेश प्रमोद बाप सावंत तुमची शिक्षण मळावेली दूरदृष्टी आणि सगळ्या भुरग्यांक योग्य असे मार्गदर्शन मिळचे ही तळमळ या तुमच्या संकल्पनेतल्यान आणि आयोजनातल्यान सगळ्यांक दिष्टी पडता परतून एक फाउट देव बरे करू या वेबिनारातले पहिले स्पीकर पहिले उलोपी जाऊन असतात डॉक्टर विठ्ठल तिळवी स्टेट हायर एड्युकेशन काउन्सिल डी एच ई ते रिप्रेझेंट करतात आणि तांचो आयचो विषय असा करिअर ऑप्शन्स आफ्टर एच एस एस सी ई अक्रॉस द स्टेट नेशन एन द वर्ल्ड या वेबिनारात डी एच ई रिप्रेझेंटेटिव्ह आमका गोयात उपलब्ध आशिले जनरल डिग्री कोर्सेसांची माहिती दितले तसेच मॅम नीता गोयातल्या टेक्निकल डिग्री आणि डिप्लोमा कोर्सेस बद्दल उलयतली तसेच रणजीत कलंगुटकर सर जे आमच्या देशात कॉम्पिटेटिव्ह एक्झाम्स असतात वेगवेगळे त्याच्याबद्दल माहिती दितली पुराय पद्धतीन आणि एकूणच गोयात उपलब्ध आशिल्ल्या आणि गोयच्या भुरग्यांक भारतात उपलब्ध जाऊ शकपी अशा सगळ्या करिअराच्यो संधी हाजेर उजवाड घालपी असो हो वेबिनार बारावे उपरांत करिअराच्यो कितल्यो संधी उपलब्ध असतात फक्त गोयातच नाही तर देशात आणि अख्ख्या जगात या विषयाचे डॉक्टर विठ्ठल तिळवी आता उलोप करतले डॉक्टर विठ्ठल तिळवी माय डिअर स्टुडंट्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल कॉंग्रॅच्युलेशन नाव दॅट यू हॅव पास ट्वेल्थ ग्रेड अँड नाव यू आर एम्बार्किंग ऑन अ जर्नी फॉर हायर एज्युकेशन and i am very very certain that with concentration and with dedication you will be successful on this journey before i give a broad overview of what are the opportunities that are available uh, in goa in india as well as around the world i want to highlight and point to a question that is often asked and the question is how do you choose a college where do you take the admission so whether you take the admission where most of your students go uh, take the admission uh, to that college or you take a admission where they offer a subject or a discipline which you like the most and the answer in my opinion is you you should choose a college where they offer a subject or a discipline which you like the most and the reason being if you like something you will put your heart and soul into that and then you will be successful no matter what college or which institutions you take admission in and so the answer is decide your subject first and then choose the appropriate college so coming to the degree programs broadly we can categorize degree programs into four one is traditional degree program where we have uh ba bsc bcom then we have engineering medicine then we have professional uh, degree programs such as architecture pharmacy music performing arts and finally we have vocational these are all skill based uh, degree programs what we call bvoc coming to the traditional degree programs where for example bachelor of arts you have quite a few options you can specialize in for example in languages from sanskrit to portuguese you can specialize in you have economics geography journalism from political science to education so you have quite a few options if you opt for bachelor of arts that is ba for bachelor of commerce that is bcom you have accounting management business studies and shipping management and finally in the traditional degree programs for bachelor of science that is bsc we have quite a few programs 
from chemistry, physics, biotechnology, botany to interior design, education and fashion and apparel design. So we have a quite a few options even in traditional degree programs. So we have 37 colleges in Goa which offer some of these combinations in arts, commerce and science. Now we come to the degree programs in engineering and we have some of the most popular and that are also offered in Goa uh, at the level of Bachelor of Engineering. These are Civil, Electrical and Electronics, Computer Engineering, Electronics and Telecommunication, Mechanical and Information, information Technology, uh, uh, B in Information Technology. So we have in total five engineering colleges in Goa and in addition, we have NIT Goa campus, IIT Goa and BITS Pilani Goa campus. NIT Goa, IIT Goa, is they are housed in the same campus as of GC, that, that is Goa Engineering College, while BITS campus is located in Vasco. Now we come to the degree programs in medicine. So we have in allopathy, we have MBBS, dental surgery, and also allied programs that includes bachelors in physiotherapy, imaging technology and optometry. So in addition to allopathic medicine, we also have homeopathic medicine and surgery that is BHMS and Ayurvedic medicine and surgery BAMS. So in total, we have four medical colleges in Goa, homeopathic medicine and surgery and Ayurvedic medicine and surgery. These are offered by two colleges in Shiroda, while MBBS and dental surgery, these programs are offered at the medical colleges are located in Bambolim. Now we come to the professional degree programs. Here also we have quite a few options uh, at the bachelor degree level, including education, architecture, pharmacy, fine arts, performing arts, Performing arts uh, provided by the uh, College of Music in vocal and tabla and we also have performing arts in theater. We also have library and information science, law and design. So in addition to the uh, professional degree programs, we also have uh, business administration. That means degree programs in administration where you can specialize in financial services hospitality and culinary education, shipping and logistics, and travel and tourism. In addition to business administration, we also have bachelors in computer application. Here I want to remind students that some of these programs may be uh, self-financed. That means the tuition fees may be somewhat higher. Finally, we have degree programs in vocation where these degree programs are all skill based and we have options in culinary management and software technology. So here students will be able to get Bachelor of Vocation that is BVOC. Now all these programs I have mentioned, all these degree programs I have mentioned, they are all affiliated to Goa University. That means they are all recognized by Goa University and they are all available in Goa. Now I want to quickly mention what are the opportunities that students can get outside Goa? If some of the programs, if they are not available in Goa, students can, and if they intend to go outside Goa, these opportunities might be available outside Goa. Here I, I give only a few institutes and degree programs. And of course, there are quite a few options available outside Goa. Here I want to mention a few institutes these institutes are among the best institutes in India. For example, Indian Institute of Science, which is mostly focused in sciences and engineering. Indian Institute of Science, Education and Research. These are called ICERs. There are quite a few ICERs now already in India. And these are focused not just in education, but at the same time, students get quite a good exposure in research. Then we have Tata Institute of Fundamental Research, TIFR. They are focused not just in sciences, but they also have institutes, TIFR, in social sciences. And of course, 
uh, in addition to these institutes we have iits and nits outside goa so there are quite a few options also available outside goa in degree programs also there are few options in aeronautical engineering biomedical engineering astrophysics and many many more so if student wish to pursue some programs that are not available in goa there will be opportunities uh, that are available outside goa as well and finally i just want to quickly mention about the programs that may be available if they are not available in india and if students uh, intend to pursue that abroad that means outside india there are quite a few option here i mention only a few for example technological entrepreneurship and management aerospace engineering digital culture cultures earth and space exploration robotics human system engineering neuroscience and many many more so the sky is the limit so you have quite a few option not just in india but abroad also and of course these are just a list of few programs that uh, given the time limitation uh, i could mention here but you should be able to get a lot of information um, on website of uh, individual institutes or in general if you do google search and one thing uh, before i stop one thing i want to mention and especially because some of the students have this question now if they have already chosen a degree program and later on if they decide that they want to switch over to a different discipline if they want to switch over to a different subject whether they can do it and certainly they can do it and i have quite a few friends and i know quite a few colleagues who have changed their discipline changed their subject not just during the degree program but even after the degree program for example if you do engineering you can bachelor's in engineering you can do masters in administration and so those options are available in india as well as abroad and here is the contact information if you would like more information we would be very happy uh, to talk to you and i would say never stop learning thank you thank you dr tilvi you gave an excellent overview of all the career options possible in goa nation and overall the world thank you very much for this next speaker we have dr mahadev gaus state higher education council dhe who is going to speak on degree courses offered in government and aided colleges and their admission process how does actual admission happens and what all it takes will be covered in in his speech let's hear it from him dr mahadev gaus hello students so after your 12th results i hope everyone must be very anxious and excited to take their admission in our degree programs in undergraduate degree programs so today i'm here to brief you about the the spectrum of different degree programs which are offered in government and aided colleges uh, which are the administrative control of director of higher education so i will just brief you initially about various colleges which are available uh, which are offering the courses different spectrum of courses under director of higher education and also what are the different uh, opportunities that you have uh, in securing those particular degree programs so let me take you brief through the through first of uh, our government colleges which are which are under the administrative control of uh, director of higher education so we have almost uh, eight government colleges now under this eight government colleges we have several general degree programs such as ba bcom bsc bvoc and most of these colleges as of now they are well equipped with a uh, high qualified faculties as well as high, highly equipped labs and smart classes as well apart from that apart from this general degree programs we have uh, kala academy uh, goa college of theaters and uh, at uh, sorry for that kala academy goa college of uh, theater arts uh, which offers bachelor of performing arts and theaters then we have a goa college of home science which offers bsc in home science which is again another popular uh, course uh, which many of the students seek and aspire to take the admission in this college then we have uh, those who are interested in the music we have a goa college of music which offers a bachelor of performing arts as well as they offer the foundation course so anyway i'll brief them in the later part so these are the colleges uh, these are the government colleges which offers various general uh, degree programs now apart from this we have 
almost more than 24 aided colleges which offers again the various general programs and general degree courses such as BA, BCom, BSc. Then some of them they offer a Bachelor of Vocational as well. Uh, now if you if you just look at these particular colleges, you can refer them through the DHE websites. We have already displayed all the information about all those colleges which are administrative control of Director of Higher Education. You can refer to their particular websites. You can refer the different, I mean, the, the, to their prospectors, and you can refer the different programs and degrees which are offered in their colleges. Now, when it comes to the different, like for example, if you want to take the admission or seek the admission in a Bachelor of Arts, apart from these conventional courses, this multi-faculty college which is there in the Dharban Rada, it offers apart from uh, BA, become BSc, we have BCA and BBA. Now, this is the aided course, so this is. Bachelor of Computer Application and Bachelor of Business Administrations. Now, as of now in Goa, these are the only two aided courses which are offered in a multi-faculty college, Dharbanada. Then we have a BA LLB, that is an integrated course. Again, I'll speak more on that in the later part. Now, these are the different degree programs which are offered uh, with the different specializations in the individual college. For example, if the students wants to aspire or seek the admission in Bachelor of Arts, now many times the students get confused and they may not know exactly what are the subjects which are subject combinations which are offered and what is the specialization that they have to do it for their till the final years and what is the scope thereafter for doing it in the masters or maybe to the to carry that particular research uh, uh, to carry their studies in the research part as well so we have general degree that is a ba wherein the students can opt for a different combination such as history economics history english political science Similarly, you will have a BA honors. In BA honors, you will have a very specific subjects right from the first year onwards, where you can do it a where you can do it a specialization in a history, political science, or psychology, philosophy, Hindi, Marathi. Now, for this, as I mentioned, that you can refer to the different uh, colleges which offers the BA program. You can look out for that particular uh, prospectus of those colleges and can refer what are the different specific honor programs that are offered in those respective colleges. Then we have a BCom which is a uh, general BCom. Then we have also the BCom honors where the very specific course which has been offered uh, as a degree programs. So in terms of accounting, then you have a business management, then you have a banking and financial service. Similarly, we have a BSc programs, a general BSc as well as a BSc honors. Now in BSc Honors, uh, we have very specific course combination which are very popular like uh, chemistry, computer science, microbiology. Uh, one thing I would like to mention here that many times uh, in BSc programs, the students try to apply to very specific programs and they just think that these are the only common or uh, popular uh, degree programs or subjects which they have to opt. But there are quite many other subjects also which has got a lot very wide uh, scope in terms of their higher studies when they want to opt for a master's degree or in the research as well. For example, this physics, mathematics or geology as well. Now let me come to the dual degree part which is apart from the conventional degree programs that we offer, they are three years programs. Now this dual degree programs, uh, the first one we have is a BLLB. Now this is a five year integrated LLB. Now there is no lateral entry for this. The minimum criteria for this course to seek the admission in this course is that you need to be uh, for having a 45% in your 12th standard irrespective of your stream. So there is a common entrance test for to uh, take the admission in the BLLB. So all the students has to compulsory go through the answer the common, en uh, common entrance test. And for the final selections, the colleges, they take the 70% of your higher secondary marks and 30% is taken from the common entrance test. Now there are two colleges which are offering this BLLB. One is VM uh, Salgoga College in Miramar and next one is VVM uh, Govind Ram, Ramnath Kari College Law in Margam. So in a bracket what I have mentioned here is that intake capacity. As I mentioned, uh, the common entrance test is mandatory for, for taking the admission in these colleges. The next dual degree we are offering uh, is the BA, BA and BSc, BA. For the last few years, this course is, again has been very popular among the students. Wherein these courses are four years integrated courses. So we have a BA, BA and BSc, BA. Many times uh, students after passing their graduation in BA or BSc, they seek the admission in the BA courses. So now the students have an opportunity 
to take the integrated program where uh, the BA and the graduation, undergraduation as well as the BA will be, the degree will be awarded in that one course itself. So that is what, why we call it as an integrated program. So we have a BA, BA offered in the two different colleges. One is the Harmal Pasikar uh, College, another one is the Vidya Prabhupadini College in Porvore. The next we have is a BSc BA. Again, for this BSc BA, uh, you need to have your uh, 12th standard passed in BSc program. This is offered again uh, in Harmal Pasikal College. So, for BA BA, you have 50 capacity each for uh, each of this particular course in each of the college. And similarly, for BSc BA, we have a 50 intake for each year. Then the next one we have is the Bachelor of Performing Arts. Now again, uh, by specifically thought of uh, explaining you all about this particular is that this is also many of the students, many a times the students have an interest in taking the admission in a music, maybe in the in terms of a tabla, vocal or a harmonium. So the Goa College of Music, it offers three different courses in a BPA, that is a Bachelor of Performing Arts. One first one is tabla, then you have harmonium and then you have a vocal. Now similarly, if the students who has just passed 10th standard and it still wants to take the admission in the music, so they have something called a foundation courses. So they can seek the admission after the 10th standard itself. So again, there are three courses. They are called as a foundation courses. One is a tabla, vocal and then harmonium. So once they complete this foundation course for the two years, the later they can continue as a Bachelor of Performing Arts in a degree programs. Now this is apart from these aided courses which are offered uh, in a various college under the DHE, there are also some of the programs and degree programs which are offered as a self finance programs. Now the students have to understand that the aided difference between aided courses and self program is that in terms of a fees, the self finance programs has got the tuition fees a bit on a higher side compared to that of the aided colleges. Now, these are some of the very popular aided uh, fi self finance courses which are offered across the uh, different uh, colleges in the state. That is BA in mass communication, BA in bi BSc in biotechnology, uh, BBA in tourism and travel, then integrated master of commerce, which is a four years course. Then again, we have a b bachelor of business administration that is very specific in financial services. So the students can refer to all these self finance courses offered by the respective college. But the admission, the important thing is that admission is not undertaken by the DHE, but the individual respective college uh, undertakes this process. So students have to directly approach this respective college to take the admission in a self-finance courses. Now to take this particular process in last year in 2020 during the pandemic period, the director of higher education took the initiative of digitizing and integrating all the academic process across the uh, colleges and one common digital platform. So we started off with the pilot project as an integrated academic management system. So the initial first task was to have the online admission process and whether we make the uh, provision for the students to complete the admission process, including the payment, paying of the online fees. And then having the subsequent access to, the, to their regular class activities, lecture activities, their attendance, so we incorporated academic and teaching learning process and also the student management. Now let me brief you through what is the process that we follow or the students has to follow if, you, if they like to seek admission in this aided colleges or the government colleges which are under the director of higher education. So the, so, so the advantage of having this online admission process what we are offering right now is that we have almost 15 courses which are offered across the different colleges. Unlike the earlier before the online process where the student had to go and physically buy the prospectus. So right now all the prospectors across the different aided colleges, including government colleges, the prospectus is free. Students can apply for multiple colleges rather than having just a single college. I mean, they can apply for multiple colleges. They can also apply for the multiple courses wherever they are eligible to apply for. We have more than, uh, that is, we have three dual degree courses, BA, LLB, then BA, BA and BSc, BA. Students can complete the admission process by paying the online fees through the same portal. More importantly, we don't have, we don't charge the students for, for any of the application processing. It's just completely zero application fees. 
and students have more than 35 colleges to choose from usually the convention uh, students used to apply to the college which is normally nearby to their hometowns but now having this so the spectrum of courses offered in a different colleges student can choose whatever the specialization they would like to do it in their undergraduate program they can apply to different courses in a different colleges and more importantly we have a very easy cancellation process itself there is no hurdle for students if they opt to uh, take the admission in some other colleges or in some outside a go or any other professional college so it's a very simple process start from the admission till in case if you want to opt out of uh, the admission process as well now here uh, is a uh, the admission portal the url is already available on the director of higher education uh, website students can refer to this particular website and can apply online the portal is open uh, since 20th of this month 20th of july it is open till 3rd of august because we have learned that the cbsc and icsc boards results are not yet out so we'll give the I mean, provide this opportunity for those students as well to apply so we have the date has been extended till 3rd of august 2021 the process is very simple for the so the can student can apply online and can generate the application form now the advantage here is that as i said that student has a choice to make about the different courses so the students can add uh, three different preferences out of which two are mandatory one is optional student can choose a different programs in a different college or can student can choose a single uh, different pro uh, degree programs in the same college as well so once they add these preferences the colleges will scrutinize their documents very importantly the admission is not done on the first come first basis so every college will follow the fair and transparent practice to prepare the final merit list and once the final merit list is prepared the students will be intimated either through the email or the merit list will be displayed on the respective college website so having said this in case if any one of you feel like that you need to have a special counseling or need to have any grievances want to like would like to know about the different courses or combinations while selecting this particular colleges or applying online uh, in this colleges you be are welcome to help you out you can reach out to this particular address will brief you and will guide you to take the admission in, in this area colleges under the director of higher education thank you next we have ma'am neeta naik who is representing directorate of technical education she is assistant director and member secretary for state level admission committee for professional degree and diploma courses she is going to cover technical and professional education courses and admission processes in goa ma'am neeta hello students today i am going to guide you all through the various institutes for professional degree and diploma courses in the state of goa first of all i will start with the degree courses and then we can move on to the diploma courses now if you see based on the entrance exams we can broadly divide the courses into three groups one is the neat based courses second is the gset based courses and third is the nata based course need based courses are those wherein you are studying pcb at your 12th and you have to compulsorily answer need examination at the moment the need registration site is open which you can see it is open till the 6th of august so any of you all who are aspiring to do need based courses you have to answer the need based examination for the gset based courses which is for engineering and pharmacy 23rd of july was the last day to enroll coming to the nata based course which is actually only for architecture that is for goa college of architecture already two exams have been conducted so all those of you who have answered these two tests and have 12 science are eligible for the architecture course at goa college of architecture now here i am first telling you all about all the need based courses and the various respective institutions at which you all can avail them we start with mbbs which is medical available at the goa medical college then we have the dental bds which is available at the goa dental college bambalip then we have bhms which is also called as homeopathy which is at sri kamakshi devi homeopathy medical college and research hospital shiroda 
Then we have BAMS, which is also Ayurveda at Gomantak Ayurveda Mahavidyalaya and Research Center, Shiroda. Coming to veterinary, we have certain amounts of seats which are reserved for the students of Goa in two colleges in Maharashtra and one college in Pondicherry. The other need-based courses are BSc Nursing. In BSc Nursing, we have two institutes, one which is at Bambule, which is a government institute, and the other one is at Kolwale, that is Vrindavan Institute of Nursing Education. Under Goa Medical College, we have five allied health science courses available as listed below. Under AHS, that is Allied Health Sciences, we have five different courses. Bachelor of Physiotherapy, Bachelor of Occupational Therapy, Bachelor of Optometry, B.Sc. in Medical Imaging Technology, B.Sc. in Anesthesia Technology. Now this chart shows you all the various intakes at the need-based institution, the eligibility cutoff based on 12 standard PCB marks and the entrance exam cutoff. As you can see in this table, for MBBS, BDS, Homeopathy, Ayurveda and Veterinary all have a cutoff of 50% at 12th standard and 40 that is for the general category and 40% for the reserve category. Now when I say 12th standard cutoff it means that you should have PCB as 50% for the general category and PCB as 40% for the reserve category. When it comes to the entrance exam, which is NEET, there also you need to have 50% for the general category and 40% for the reserve category. These courses are also need based courses, that is, BSc in nursing. Now, these courses have a cutoff at 12th standard, which means you have PCB to be 45%. At, for the general category and 40% for the reserve category, but there is no cutoff for NEET exam, entrance examination, which means that it is enough that you have appeared for the NEET entrance exam. There is no minimum marks that you need to score there. The eligibility is based on the fact that you have PCB cutoff and you have answered NEET, but no minimum marks. Same is for allied health courses. You need to have your 12th standard cutoff but no minimum marks scored for uh, NEET examination. Now we are going to the GSAT based courses. Broadly, there is engineering and pharmacy. Both these courses, to apply for both these courses, you have to answer GCT. For engineering, we have five institutes. One, the first one that is Goa College of Engineering is the government institute. Others are private institutes, Padre Kossesa College of Engineering at Verna, Don Bosco College of Engineering at Fatorda, Sri Rayeshwar Institute of Engineering and Information Technology at Shiroda, Agnal Institute of Technology and Design at Asaga. In pharmacy also we have two institutes, Goa College of Pharmacy which is at Panaji which is a government college. And the other one is a private institute, P.S. Rajaram and Tarabai Bandekar College of Pharmacy at Pharmaguri. Here you can see again the distribution seat wise, which courses are offered at the various engineering institutes. At GC, we have electronics, information technology, computer, electrical and electronics, mechanical and civil. All of which, all these courses have a duration of four years. Basically, all of them have an intake of 75. Some additional seats will be there in form of TFW and EWS. Again, here we have a 12 standard cutoff, but here the subjects concerned of concern are physics, maths and your third best subject. When I say physics, maths and the third base, best subject, it means that it could be biochemistry, computer science or information practices. But your physics, maths and the third subject Together, it should make a 45% for general category. Similarly, the same group has to combine physics, maths and your third best subject for reserve category and you should have a 
as you come to the entrance exam there is no cut off and for the purpose of merit we take physics and maths for engineering the merit list is prepared based on the mark scored at gct exam for physics and maths and your eligibility depends upon the mark scored at 12th standard so your ranking which is there will depend upon your pm score at gct examination and there is no cut off score which means you have to answer the exam and you could have scored anywhere between see it is a combination of two subjects addition of two subject marks each having 75 marks each which means there is 150 marks that you have to score out of and you have scored anywhere between 0 and 150 you are eligible coming to the remaining uh, institutions don bosco has four engineering streams electronics and telecommunication computer engineering mechanical engineering and civil engineering all similar as i said intake of 40 similar eligibility criteria everybody has the same eligibility criteria and no cut off for the gct examination then we have raheshwar rit having offering us electronics and telecommunication information technology computer and mechanical at aitd we have electronics and communication computer engineering and mechanical these are the institutes which the next slide here shows us the institutes for pharmacy we have two institutes that is bpharm at gcp and bpharm at ps college having a duration of 4 years here the eligibility criteria is that you have to pass so it is the same for general it is the same for the reserve category you have to pass 12th and again you have to appear for pharmacy compulsorily for physics and chemistry you cannot be answering physics and maths and thinking that you can get admission for pharmacy for pharmacy you need to answer physics and chemistry here also there is no cut off you but need to answer you can get anything between 0 and 150 marks and you are eligible for pharmacy courses coming to architecture which is only offered at goa college of architecture we have a ba course of 5 years the eligibility criteria for 12th is 12th science aggregate marks are considered you have to only pass the examination so your passing means the criteria is same for the general and the degree and the entrance exam is compulsory that is nata as i have said earlier already we have finished two tests as of till even last year the test was of 200 marks and 80 was the cut off so this year it will mostly be the same if there is any change we will notify it on our dt website coming to the diploma institutes the various institutes which offer you courses after 10th and 12th standard are listed below you have government institutions there are basically three government institutions that is government polytechnic panjim government polytechnic bichole and government polytechnic kurchore there are two aided institutes offering diploma courses that is agnel polytechnic verna and institute of shipbuilding technology vasco then we have hotel management and catering technology which is in private institutions one is at kurchore that is guardian angel institute of hotel management and catering technology at kurchore and the other one is at verna which is agnel institute of food craft and culinary sciences now presently the admission for these two courses that is uh, now presently the admission for hotel management course is in progress so anyone who is desiring to take admission can visit any of these institutes or can come and take their admissions at dt that is directorate of technical education porvore we also have diploma in pharmacy which is after 12 science and it is only at goa college of pharmacy panjim here i am listing out the various courses which are available at different polytechnics coming to government polytechnic panjim we have 10 courses out of which nine of them are ssc based which means you the entry level point here for all these courses is 10th standard but for this year it's going to be 10th standard plus you will have to answer the entrance exam which is conducted by the goa board it is mandatory for also those students who have answered 
10 earlier that is suppose you are in your 12th standard today and you want to do diploma based on your 12th 10th standard which you have done two years back it is compulsory that you answer the entrance exam which is conducted by the goa board at government polytechnic we have one course which is hsc based 12th standard based which is modern office practice where your hsc could be any that is it could be arts science or commerce then we have Agnel Polytechnic Verna, where we have six courses. Now, out of the six courses, we have two courses, that is Civil Engineering and Automobile Engineering, which is a four-year course. And the remaining three courses, uh, remaining four courses are three years of duration. Here again, eligibility is 10th with entrance exam for all the polytechnics. Then we have Shipbuilding Technology, which is at Vasco. We have three courses over here. One course that is shipbuilding has a duration of four years. The other two have a duration of three years. Then we have government polytechnic Bicholin having four engineering courses, all of a duration of three years. We have government polytechnic Kurcharem offering us three engineering courses of a duration of three years. Coming to the eligibility criteria for diploma courses, for SSE students, students should pass SSE from any recognized board and the entrance exam which is conducted by the Goa board for admission to first year of diploma courses in engineering. For HSSC, ITI and vocational students, direct second year option is also available for which no entrance exam is required. But your HSSC has to be science. That means you can't be doing HSSC commerce or arts and wanting to do a direct second year diploma. You have to be HSSC science to get lateral entry or a direct entry to second year of diploma course. Then we have hotel management for which you could be again any stream of HSCC. For diploma in pharmacy, you have to be HSSC science. It is a D farm course. And lastly, we have modern office practice for again, you could have any HSSC that is arts, commerce or science. Now the admission process is very simple. You have basically your documents which you have to get ready. You have to have certain essential documents like your mark sheets, your birth certificate, your passing certificates, leaving certificate, and depending upon your category, you will need to have resident certificate and the category documents, which are all listed in our DT website on the prospectus. Next is the submission of the application form. Many a time students feel that once they have answered the entrance exam or they have given GCT, they have got the admission. No, the process doesn't stop here. You have to apply for admissions. They feel that, you know, we have answered need and therefore we have got a certain score and therefore we are eligible. That is not the case. You have to submit an application form from the last, that is from the last year, it is the online process and all the details will be specified. This year it's going to start somewhere in August, we'll go up to September or even later. So I request all the students to regularly check the DT website for updates on eligibility list, merit list. Further, as the admission process is going on, there will be a lot of compliance that you need to do in terms of documents. So you have to keep referring to our DTE website, the merit list which will be generated, the allotment of seat, the uh, fee payment, reporting to the institution, all these schedules will be put up on the DTE website. So I please request you students to refer to our DTE website time and again. The schedule of admission process, which is the most important, which we have not yet notified. So we'll be notifying the same shortly. For diploma courses, it will be notified by the 31st of July. For GSET based courses, which is for engineering and pharmacy, we will notify by the 6th of August. And for the need based courses, we will notify by the 16th of September. Now, all these courses, the notifications for all these courses will be there in the newspaper as well as on the DTE website. So I request you all to Keep browsing the website on at least not the a daily basis, then at least once a week so that you all don't miss out on any notifications. And lastly, we have with us Sri Ranjit Kalangutkar. 
He's alumnus IIM Lucknow and he represents IMS Learning Resources. He's going to speak on national competitive exams and courses after HSSE. Let's hear it from him, Sri Ranjit Kalangutkar. Hello everybody. Uh, I'll be talking about the national level competitive exams that a student after 12th standard can appear for. Uh, a country has much more to offer in the education sector. Uh, we have about 23 Indian Institute of Technologies, 31 NITs, 20 IIMs, 23 national law universities. The aims for medical courses, you have NIFT for fashion technology, you have NIDs for courses in designs, you have Indian Institute of Hotel Management. These are the premier elite institutions that you will uh, find in our country. Uh, almost the top successful uh, people from, from, from across uh, all the jobs come out from these elite institutes. So the question here is, how do you get there? What exactly am I supposed to do if I need to do a course or if I need to graduate from these, these institutions? Uh, how do I get the top jobs in the Google and the Amazons of the world? Uh, how can I aspire to become the next Sundar Pichai is, is what I will be talking to you about. So uh, talking about these colleges of national repute that I just mentioned, uh, why should somebody look at getting to these colleges? One, yes, you have a very elite peer group. Lacks of people appear for these entrance exams. Uh, selected few uh, clear these entrance exams and uh, they will be the best among the country to, to uh, uh, that you will be studying with. Uh, the second reason is the state of art infrastructure that you'll have. The best faculties, the best library and computer facilities, the best sports infrastructure that you'll find in any of these colleges. And uh, obviously the most important thing is outcome based. So uh, talking about uh, doing a course from these colleges, uh, IITs, uh, most of the IIMs are, are, are known to offer big salary packages which could be in lakhs of rupees per month. So uh, jobs is what you get from these uh, uh, jobs with a better and a higher salary packages is, is what you can aspire for if you, if you uh, think of getting into these colleges of national repute. Uh, the first course that I'll be talking to you about is the management course. Uh, People who want to get into the board of directors of, of big corporates who want to experience the corporate world, yes, this management degree course is something that you need to aspire for. So there are three degrees, the BBA, which is Bachelor's of Business Administration, you have the BMS, which is Bachelor's of Management Studies, and you have the IPM, which is an integrated program in management, which offers a graduation plus an MBA. It's a five year course. Uh, Huge opportunities when you talk of the finance sector. Yes, you have top banks like ICICI, HDFC. You've got investment banks like JP Morgan Chase. You've got Morgan Stanley, Goldman Sachs and all these big names coming and recruiting you. When it comes to marketing, you've got Nestle, you've got Britannia, you've got Procter & Gamble, you've got Unilever, uh, top, top companies and top jobs where you can get uh, an entry into. Uh, some premier institutes which offer these courses are uh, IIM Indore, Indian Institute of Management Indore and Rotak. You've got the NMIMS in Mumbai, which is Narsi Munji Institute of Management Studies. You've got the Symbiosis in Pune and uh, Shahid Sukhdev Singh College of Business Studies in Delhi. Generally, uh, we avoid going to places like Delhi, but, but yes, uh, Delhi has a huge education infrastructure. So, so definitely something that uh, students should be looking at. Uh, you would be surprised to know Shahid Sukhdev Singh College uh, offers a salary package of about 12 lakh rupees to its three year uh, BMS students. So that's big. So these are the prominent exams uh, that a BBA aspirant, a management aspirant should be looking at. You've got the IPM Indore aptitude test, the IPM Rotak aptitude test, the JIP mat, which is for IIM Jammu, there's NPAT for NMIMS, Symbiosis entrance test for Symbiosis in Pune, the DU JAT for the Delhi University uh, Colleges and the St. Xavier's in Mumbai. Uh, you can go through the details, uh, it will be there on the slide here. Going to the next course is Legal Studies. Uh, you want to become the next Ram Jetmalani? 
yes you have to uh, look at top law schools in the country where you can pursue a llb degree from the degree that you get here can be a ba llb it also could be a bcom llb or a bsc llb or a bba llb these colleges give you a lot of options here a uh, huge opportunity in the legal sector because uh, india is known to always have a scarcity of lawyers so if you are a good lawyer yes you will have big opportunities uh, the jobs that you can get into is litigation uh, you can be a part of top law firms uh, you can be an in house counsel of top corporate companies or you can become a judge get into the judiciary uh top premier institutes like uh, nlus that is the national law universities you've got the glc mumbai where the top lawyers from the country have graduated from you've got symbiosis law school also so quickly uh, these are the exams the clat the alet the slat and the maharashtra law cet you can uh, refer to the details uh, it, it will always be there on the presentation going on to the next course yes hotel management uh, coming up in a very big manner because of the booming tourism industry you get a degree of bsc hotel and hospitality uh, management the opportunities that you have here fine uh, the, the the sector here uh, most of the hotels uh, is is very uh, uh, unstructured i would say there is a demand for huge number of professionals who've done proper courses from top colleges in the hotel industry also there is a increase in the domestic and international tourists that you have and yes the ministry of tourism has done a lot of aggressive promotion to promote tourism in our country so uh, the ihms uh, in delhi in mumbai in bangalore the oberai group right manipal are some of the top uh, premier institutes for hotel management that you have uh these are again a few uh, premier uh, prominent exams that you can opt for if you want to pursue hotel management you've got the nch mct jw which is accepted by most of the ihms across the country uh, uh, ihm in aurangabad has its own entrance test symbiosis takes the set and oberai step has its own program uh, which offers a bachelor's degree um, in tourism from from ignu liberal arts is the next uh, course that uh, somebody can opt for social sciences humanities political sciences psychology uh, a lot of options that that uh, are available here you get a degree of ba in liberal arts uh, bsc in liberal arts uh, opportunities available are across advertising psychology journalism social work uh, symbiosis in pune nmims in bombay flame ashoka are are some top universities in the country which offer liberal arts programs and and these are the exams that you can opt for if you want to get into the liberal arts uh, courses across the country the next thing yes uh, is government jobs that you can opt for after the 12th standard now these jobs that i'll be talking about are the national level jobs uh, you get direct jobs after the 12th standard and and uh, why should somebody look at this is because probably uh, getting an entry level job after the 12th standard there is still a chance to reach the top level in the hierarchy with uh, promotions as in what you you uh, work in the in, in this sector uh, respect in the society is obvious government uh, jobs have uh, people doing government jobs are are generally uh, looked upon uh, job security and and opportunities for higher learning also so uh, talking about these exams the first one is the national defense academy uh, and the the nda and the na naval academy exam which is for admissions into uh, army uh, air force uh, wings of nda and the uh, indian navy you've got the upsc central armed police force exam which which uh, is uh, generally uh, for uh, getting a job as an assistant commandant in the border security forces the crpf the itbp the cisf uh, and and these uh, security forces that you have you've got the ssc chsl which is the combined higher secondary level exam which is for jobs like clerk postal assistants data entry operators uh, in the government sector uh, the mts which is multitasking staff for jobs like peon gardener daftari jamadar you've got the general duty uh, ssc general duty exam which is for constables 
uh, in the BSF and the ITBP and the other uh, border forces that you have, uh, then you've got the SSC grade C and D stenographer exams, you've got RRB Railway Recruitment Board Assistant Loco Pilot, uh, where you, uh, you're recruited as a uh, locomotive pilot in the Indian Railways and also you've got the RRB Group D exam for helper, assistant, pointsman uh, jobs which are there. The next thing that we talk about is uh, study abroad courses that somebody can opt for after 12th standard. So uh, definitely the courses that you pursue in the country, you can look for the same courses uh, abroad. So you have engineering technology, you've got life sciences, medicine, uh, natural sciences, social sciences, arts, humanities, all the options you can pursue them from premier colleges uh, in the US, in the Canada, in the UK, Australia and, and other countries. Uh, why should somebody look at this? Uh, one, yes, it, it is more of a practical based learning application based curriculum that you have. Uh, advanced technologies and facilities available in those countries, yes, I can get access to that. And uh, somebody wanting to go abroad, pursue a job in the international market, uh, it's an early entry to the international market. Uh, so, so talking about what is the exam, SAT is the exam that you need to opt for, for undergrad schools uh, in the US, in Canada, in UK, Australia. Uh, TOEFL and IELTS is an English language test which you need to appear for, which you need to uh, uh, give because uh, they test your proficiency in the English language if you have to go to these countries. Uh, also now I, I will quickly take up these four uh, careers as well. Uh, uh, there is a lot of information available on engineering, medicine, architecture. So, so I will just be giving you uh, information on the exams. Uh, you've got the JWE main, you've got the JWE advanced exam, which is main exam is used for B, B Tech course from NITs and other institutions advanced for admissions into the IITs, uh, BITSAT for BITS Pilani, Goa and Hyderabad, uh, VI Tripoli and the MHTCT for, for engineering colleges in Maharashtra. Now the eligibility here is 12th pass, but uh, different colleges would have a different eligibility criteria as per their requirements. So you need to check out the websites of those colleges before you apply uh, to any of these colleges through these exams. Uh, medicine has uh, two entrance exams, that's the NEET and the AIMS, uh, which, is, which is for an MBBS and the BDS course uh, from, the, from, from uh, best medical colleges in the country. Uh, you've got architecture, which is uh, NATA, which is JWE main, which is JWE advanced. Uh, JWE main is for doing a BR and the bachelor. BR is bachelor's of architecture and B plan is bachelor's of planning from from the NITs. And and the advanced is 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 if you want to pursue a bachelor's of architecture from the uh, IITs. Uh, the national fashion and design again is is a sector where you've got the NID that's National Institute of Design, uh, which uh, which offers a B desk that's a Bachelor's of Design, and uh, you've got NIFT that's National Institute of Fashion Technology, which offers a Bachelor's of Design and a Bachelor's of Fashion Technology also. So so talking about these courses. Um, uh, students should understand the country has a lot of things to offer, a lot of uh, educational op opportunities available in Goa. Yes, we've got IITs, we've got NITs, we've got uh, the BITS and, and other top colleges in Goa. But you should understand, do not limit yourself to a particular geography. Uh, why should I restrict my chances by just opting for colleges in a particular state or city? Why not also try my hand at the best colleges outside Goa? Fine. So don't be reluctant to move out of your comfort zone. You you should you should uh, actually look for options and good colleges in other states also. Uh, and and. Uh, you need to understand that the institutions will not come to you. You will have to go to the best institutions in the country to apply to them. So uh, quickly talking about uh, uh, who are we, uh, I'm from an institute, uh, IMS Learning Resources, which was established in 1977. We do train students for uh, these competitive national level competitive exams. We train about 70,000 students every year across the country. Uh, 
talking about the initiative the goa government has taken it's 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 a uh, initiative taken by the directorate of higher education where ims in association with the government of goa we share a mission to train students for undergraduate bba and law entrance exams and postgraduate bank and government entrance exam at a very subsidized nominal fee so that goan students also get a chance to explore uh, or or uh, uh, apply to the best colleges in the country uh, so these are our details over the screen uh, you can get in touch with us uh, for any one on one counseling required to opt for these courses yeah we are always there to help you thank you thank you very much shri kalangutkar on behalf of chief minister's office and directorate of higher education i thank dr vithal tilvi dr mahadev gavas ma'am neeta naik and shri ranjit kalangutkar for their excellent presentation ya webinar lagun maka dista ki jani jani hai webinar aikla जीवा किंवा जे बारावीचे भुरगे आता पास आउट झाले आणि त्यांच्या मनात जे कन्फ्युजन आशिल्ले मात तरी ते पैस जावपास या वेबिनाराची मदत झाली असतली अशी आस्त बाळगिता तुमका योग्य मार्गदर्शन मिळचे योग्य दिका मिळची आणि एक एक वेगळी वाट तुम्ही धरून तुमचे एक वेगळे करिअर घडून हाडचे आणि तुमच्या जीवितात मुखार एक बरो आदर्श तुम्ही दुसऱ्या पुढे निर्माण करचो याच हेतान या वेबिनाराचे आयोजन भोमानेस मुखेलमंत्र्यांच्या संकल्पनेतल्या हा घडून हाडिल्ले देव बरे करू तुमका जाय तेव्हा हे वेबिनार तुम्ही सी एम ओ गोवा युट्यूब चॅनल तसेच फेसबुक पेजीचेर पळवू शकतात उजरत पळयात आणि शेअर करात आणि योग्य मार्गदर्शन जे भोमानेस मुखेलमंत्र्यांच्या संकल्पनेतल्यान तुमका सगळ्यांक खासा करून गावगिऱ्या वाठारातल्या भुरग्यांक हंगा दिला ताजोय तुम्ही लाभ घेऊचो अशी आस्त बाळगिता अशी असे तुमच्या लागी मागता आणि देव बरे करू म्हणता नमस्कार